Greetings, fellow creatures of the night, and welcome to my video dungeon. This is a collection of videotapes that I keep. I've been collecting for a few years now. I think I have a pretty good assortment. I'm just going to go through some of them and pick up some of my favorites for you. Okay. We have Alucarda here. Great, great flick. Let's see here. Basket case. Beautiful movie. You should see this. All right. Of course, Beavis and Butthead, Do America. Blood Feast, an absolute classic. We have Blood Sport. Ah, yes, Brain Scan. This is a horror movie from the 90s. It features Edward Furlong. Uh, basically, he just has these nightmares. They end up showing through TV, and apparently these nightmares are true, where he's killing people. It's a weird movie. I suggest it. We have Breeders. This is a really weird film. Candyman, of course. Cemetery Man, which is essentially this existential story about this man who lives in a graveyard um, and kind of just fights zombies in this very strange type of way. Children of the Corn, of course, the Child Play series, one of my favorites, including Bride of Chucky. La Chiesa, which is a great Argento flick, and ah, yes, Communion. I love this flick. This is essentially a alien abduction of story featuring Christopher Walken. It gets really, really weird. Uh, there are several scenes where he's just completely naked, spread eagle on an exam table surrounded by aliens. Uh, at the end, there's a scene where he's dancing with all of the aliens that abducted him. Um, it's just totally insane, and I highly recommend it. Congo. I love this one as a kid. Uh, it's basically a talking gorilla and her handler. Uh, they travel to the jungle to, to free her, basically, and they encounter a lost city uh, full of diamonds. And this diamond city is basically filled with killer gorillas. Um, Tim Curry's in it. It's really bad. I love it. We have Conan. Uh, let's see, Critters. Gotta love Critters. This is probably the most underrated movie series of the 80s. A creature feature series, at least. Uh, Delicatessen. We have all of my Draculas. Um, if you haven't seen that Andy Warhol Dracula, you need to. My personal favorite, which is the 1990 uh, version, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Uh, let's see, we have Dracula 2000, this is bad. We have Dracula 3000, this is way worse. And it has Coolio in it. Uh, Dust Till Dawn, Dungeon Master, uh, Enter the Dragon, a favorite. Of course, we have Escape from L.A. and Escape from New York. Uh, Escape from L.A. is definitely an underrated sequel. Uh, yes, Evil Speak. I cannot say enough good things about Evil Speak. Uh, it's basically Clint Howard is a Boy Scout. He gets made fun of by everybody. Uh, long story short, he basically channels Satan through his computer. His computer is in a cave and uh, kills, takes revenge out on all of his enemies through the satanic computer. He gets possessed. He floats through the air with a giant medieval blade. Uh, this is a magical film. I highly recommend it. Okay, let's see what else we have. Uh, we have Frankenstein's, Andy Warhol's Frankenstein. Great, uh, campy, very bad trash flick. I have, of course, all of the Friday the 13th series. Jason X, I absolutely love. And let's see, we have Garbage Pail Kids here, which is, I cannot talk about how good Garbage Pail Kids is, and it's just really gross. I think it's meant to be a kids movie. It's really disgusting, a lot of strange puppetry. Uh, we have Ghoulies, great little creature flicks. You know, it's just anything with small, creepy, gross little creatures in it that attack people, I'm going to love. Um, and that goes for Gremlins as well, right here. 
Uh, we got hackers, of course. We have all Halloweens up until H2O, which is very bad, and I recommend it. And uh, we have all of the Hellraiser series here. And of course, we have Hot Boys. So, this is basically this 90s film. Uh, it was directed by Master P. It's really strange. It features all of my favorite 90s rappers. Uh, Snoop, Sh Silk the Shocker, we got Master P, of course. Uh, it also features a shady cop played by Gary Busey, so I recommend this. All right, we have Johnny Mnemonic. This is a great, great, great Keanu film. Uh, Kickboxer, a great Jean-Claude film. Lawnmower Man, absolutely love Lawnmower Man. Uh, let's see, we have the Leprechaun series, including Leprechaun 4. Life Force, which is essentially a space vampire movie. Let's see here. All right. All of the Nightmare on Elm Street films. Uh, Night at the Roxbury. This does not really fit any other film in my collection, but it's, of course, obviously very important to have. Uh, we have Orgy of the Dead. Ah, People Under the Stairs. This is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, it features Big Ed from Twin Peaks as the villain. Um, in a lot of the movie, he's just wearing a black leather gimp suit, running around with a shotgun. Um, it's just a great film. It's also a social commentary, uh, at least partially on classism, so you have to love that. You know, as you know, Wes Craven is known for that type of social commentary, so love this film. Pet Cemetery, very underrated films of the 80s. Pet Cemetery 2, maybe in a different way. Pee Wee, of course, and Big Top Pee Wee. Okay, I know we've been through a lot so far, but there's something I really need to show you. This is Quigley. This is perhaps my favorite trash film of all time. Uh, it stars Gary Busey. He's a rich billionaire asshole. Um, treats everyone like shit. Uh, anyways, he dies and tries to get into heaven. Heaven won't let him in until he proves his worth. He can't prove his worth unless he comes back as a Pomeranian and completes a few tasks uh, that show he's pure of heart. Um, there's really not much else I want to say about this movie. You just need to see it. Uh, it's just totally fucking ridiculous. Uh, throughout a lot of the movie, Gary Busey is wearing a bondage collar for some reason. It's, it's very strange. Um, the soundtrack alone is worth it. It's just basically really bad music made just for the film. So um, if you ever get a chance to get your hands on this, uh, do not hesitate. You won't regret it. Let's see here. We have Poltergeist series, uh, Predator, Predator 2. Uh, this is a very underrated 80s horror sequel in my opinion. And the pumpkin heads. Uh, Puppet Master series. We have Queen of the Damned, and if you haven't seen this, it's a very trash, terrible vampire flick. Um, and yeah, it's just there's Jonathan Davis's voice is in a lot of it from Corn. That's all I'll say. We have Ravenous. This is my favorite cannibalism film. It's actually quite good from an artistic type perspective. Uh, Robocop. We, the Tales from the Crypt movies here. Um, I am impartial to them, just, I think a lot of it is just because of the Crypt Keeper being in them. Ah yes, Tammy and the T-Rex. Uh, this is a totally terrible direct-to-video film. Uh, it's supposed to be a family type romance. Um, it features one of Denise Richards in one of her first roles. Essentially she falls in love with a boy. Uh, the one problem is the boy is a dinosaur. He's a T-Rex, so that's all I'll say. We have the Terminator series, uh, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre 5, this is great. Renee Zellweger's first starring role, um, and also features Matthew McConaughey as just an absolute fucking out of control maniac. The acting is so over the top, it's quite entertaining. You should see this. And of course we have The Thing, uh, it's a great John Carpenter flick. We're getting close towards the end now. We have, uh, oh, Troll 2. This is a brilliant cult flick. Uh, there was actually a documentary made on it uh, because it's so bad. So 
Uh, if you're just looking for the worst acting, most like ridiculous acting, this is the choice right here. Let's see, we have Valley of the Dolls, Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. Uh, we have Videodrome, of course, Watcher in the Woods, uh, which is this really terrifying, really the only true horror flick ever produced by Disney. So if you're a Disney fan, you should get this. Weekend at Bernie's, of course I had to have this. What about Bob? Uh, you know, I have to. Willard, we have The Three Wishmasters. Uh, Wild at Heart, of course, I love David Lynch. And then we just have a lot of these, you know, Depeche Mode. Uh, this is mostly nonfiction. So some music cut in. Fetish is this great 90s uh, documentary that takes place at Pandora's Box, like a very elite uh, dungeon in New York City. And we have the, this law enforcement guide to satanic cults. Uh, this is bizarre. It was essentially this satanic panic um, thing that cop police departments sent to each other to train them on how to detect satanic cults. It's, they basically say that all Satanists eat babies and it's totally out of control. Uh, it's probably why they never actually caught many Satanists. And also because they weren't doing anything illegal in the first place. Let's see, we have vibrations here. Uh, this is just an absolute shit movie. Uh, it's sometime in the mid-90s. Uh, essentially, this sheltered white kid uh, who's a promising young musician, he gets his hands torn off. Um, he gets really depressed. He moves to New York, becomes an alcoholic. You know, your typical just loses all dignity. Uh, eventually, he comes upon this uh, team of uh, techno-rave enthusiasts and uh, they help him build robot hands. And with these robot hands, he creates the most amazing, beautiful techno and begins playing at these raves and becomes a superstar. For some reason, he dresses up as a full robot, uh, even though only his hands are the robotic part, but um, it's just great. It's also Christina Applegate's, one of her first roles. So um, the music is, is just, it's so trashy. I highly recommend this. And last but not least, we have Vampire's Kiss. Out of any of these films you've seen here today, uh, I'm assuming you've seen this if you haven't, uh, and you're only going to pick one of these to watch, it should be Vampire's Kiss. Uh, this is a Nicolas Cage as a vampire, uh, or he's just a delusional maniac who is hallucinating as a vampire. It's not really clear. Uh, there's a lot of weird lines, and there's a lot of weird, uh, questionably, like, sexually awkward moments in it. Um, some people say the whole movie is a concept about sex and his fear of it. Uh, I'm not really sure. I do know that there's countless Nicolas Cage freak out moments, uh, all of them very classic. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just one of the weirdest movies. He has an accent or maybe he doesn't, you can't really tell. Uh, you need to see this movie if you haven't. And if you have seen it, you should watch it again. I never get sick of this one. And that is my VHS collection. Most of it, at least. I hope you've enjoyed yourself today. I know that I certainly have. I'll be seeing you very soon on the next episode. Until then, pleasant nightmares.